I swear. Oh my god. You can see it, can't you? It's right there. Fudge. I got hungry kids in the house and I'm still out here. I heated it up, straightened the darn thing out. I mean, it wasn't even a millimeter off, but I could see it and it bothered me tremendously. But then I got on the, to uh, another knife and the dang forge went out. So I got the forge going again. I'm gonna harden this sucker, temper it, clean it up a little, and then go feed my kids. And then I'll have to finish this tomorrow. I like this knife, I may not even sell it. All right, I just hardened it again. I even turned my uh, quenching pan north-south like some of the, the guys say you have to do, and I got a straight knife. Thank goodness, because I didn't want to have to go through that again. So this thing looks good. I don't see a bend or bow in it in any way. I clean it up, temper it up, and I can get back at it. All right, there's my variable temper. Nice and blue at the bottom. I got a little more temper on the point than I really wanted, but at the same time, that's probably good for that point. So uh, that didn't turn out too bad at all. I think this sucker, uh oh, I didn't check it. Ah, yeah. She's as straight as it's going to be, that's for sure. Straight as a freaking arrow. So I think that's all we're going to get done with it today. It's too bad I could have definitely finished this knife today. But tomorrow's another day. What a freaking night, man. I really like this knife. There's the rough fit. I'm thinking I'm gonna like it. Right, I'm gonna take some electrical tape and I'll wrap right up to that joint in this wood so that uh, I can try to keep the epoxy off the steel. That's the plan anyway. Alrighty, got the epoxy mixed up. We are not going to be stingy with it. No way. Goes on like that. That's right. And that's right. Wow, scared me. Alright, get this thing in the vise. Get a good squeeze on it. Should we got low enough though, that's for sure. There we go. Alright, there she is. All her glory. You like it? Yeah, hopefully one more job of sanding and this sucker's gonna be done. I certainly hope so. I'm ready for it to be done. That's the rough part. She's got a little more shape. It's good. Time to just clean it up. Alrighty. Many, many grits of paper later and about an hour and a half of sanding. I'll tell you, I don't know if there's very much money in knives. I don't know. Not the way I do it, anyway. But let's unveil this thing and see what we end up with. Ready? Da. There she is. Right, let's see what happens to the color on this sucker. Uh, 
Uh, ain't that pretty? Alrighty, let's let that sucker Thanks. dry and we'll come back. Alright guys, started with that. And there we have it. I think that's pretty damn awesome looking. So here we go, try to roll. There we go. Can't beat that. So there you have it. This would be one hell of a nice knife. If you notice, there's a little more meat up towards the top of the blade than back here. You've got a nice groove here, makes sharpening easier and uh, allows you to use fire steel if you want to, or a fire striker. But uh, with this extra meat up here at the top, this thing should make a heck of a chopper. And it's got a nice, a nice front load to it. So there it is. Done.